Hey, happy holidays. It is time for your market update. So coming at you a little bit later this uh, this month, but I wanted to get this information out to you guys because we saw some interesting stuff in the Sarasota Bradenton real estate market. So as always, let's start with closed sales. So we saw in October, we saw closed sales jump 5% from this time last year. So that's an interesting number with with the news articles and the things you see with real estate uh, slowing down or um, things like that. A lot of the mainstream media will post just the negative stuff, but really when you look at the hyper-local, um, close sales are still moving strong. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in November, December, when that uh, you know information comes out over the next few months. Um, we saw our cash sales increase uh, by 8% from this same time last year. So, and that stayed right in that same uh, 39, 40% uh, of our market is still still cash sales. So that's strong. Uh, median sales price. So we saw the median sales price drop 10% from this time last year to 490,000 from 544. Now I want people to keep in mind that what the news will show you is like, oh, prices drop 10% over Sarasota and Manatee County. That is not what this information means. That just means the median sales price was basically 10% less than it was this time last year. It doesn't mean that home values dropped 10%. just means that the median sales price of the homes that closed was 490000 So keep that in mind. We haven't seen a big necessarily price drop, but as that median sales price, if it continues along the same path, if we see that, that will cause current listings and things like that to uh, need to adjust their price to coincide with where those median sale prices are coming in at. All right, so we saw the median percent of original list price. So what can you expect to get if you're a seller? What can you expect to pay if you're a buyer? We saw that uh, bump up about 0.7% from this time last year to 97.2%. Uh, from 96.5. So what that tells us is a couple things. Uh, there's still there's some wiggle room now for buyers, which is which is great. You're not necessarily uh, paying over or above asking price, but also tells us that sellers are getting more serious about selling their home and pricing their home correctly. So when you see that big spread, usually means that there's just a disconnect between you know what sellers and their agents are pricing their home at to what uh, you know, they're actually closing at. So we're seeing that gap um, shorten up a little bit, which is great to see. Uh, median time to contract, uh, that's up about 30% from this time last year. But the number, when you look at the number, it's not as scary as the percentage. It went from 22 days to 29 days. So as always, what you can do if you're a seller is take a look at that and say, is my home staying on the market longer uh, than the median time to contract? If so, why? You know, is it, is it the marketing? Is it the presentation of the property? Is it the price? And then new pending sales. So what are we going to see when the November data comes out? We saw new pending sales jump 22% uh, from this time last year. So be interesting to see how that goes. Remember, we we're coming off a storm this time, you know, about a year ago. So see where we go from there. Um, another interesting piece of information was the listings. So we saw new listings jump 45% from this time last year to about 1,760 homes from 1,213. So that's, uh, it's definitely going to make inventory a little bit more healthy. Um, and if you're on the listing side, that's going to kind of put some more competition in your pool. So be aware of that. Make sure when you're, when you're having a conversation with your house match agent, you're looking at, hey, yeah, if there's 10 homes in the neighborhood, am I pricing this thing competitively or am I going to help sell their house? Am I making their house look good by overpricing mine? And then that drew our active inventory up about 30% to 4,400 homes between both counties, which equates to about three and a half months of inventory, meaning if you know every home on the market sold, at the current rate of sales, it would take about three and a half months for us to run out of homes to sell. So, and that puts us, I like the way we look at our data is zero to three months is a strong seller's market. Three to five is balanced. Whereas 
you know, sellers and buyers both have opportunities and advantages and anything above five takes us into a buyer's market. So with that, I mean, it's some interesting stuff. You'll see, you know, the news may make it sound like housing is, you know, dead in the water or it's really slow or, you know, a lot of bad things, but there's still good deals out there. There's still properties that make a lot of sense for buyers. There's still a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of meat in the bone for sellers who've gained a ton of equity over the last few years. Um, it's just making sure you work with the right agent who actually consults you on the process, asks you the right questions, figures out what you really want and need, uh, figures out why you're moving, and then, you know, kind of makes a plan to show you guys how this makes sense for you. Um, we're seeing a lot of things with new constructions, incentives, and things like that to where it really makes sense. So if you have any questions on this information um, or you'd like to just you know, book a consult with your house match agent, feel free. You can reach out to me below, um, you know, respond to this, uh, this email. So look forward to talking to you guys soon. Have a happy holiday.